Hey guys, Brandon here, back with DSC. Welcome to vlog number two. Really excited to share this with you guys. We're going to go over three things today. I'm going to give updates on kind of the grading landscape. A lot of things changed in the past few weeks. Also, went to a card show last week, so I'll share what we picked up from that. And then lastly, I'm going to take you through my football buy list right now. Five cards that I'm actively looking for. So first things first, SGC, BGS, PSA all came out with different communications last week on how grading has been affected. The one I really enjoyed watching was the SGC interview in Cardboard Chronicles. You can see that right here. I also have a link in the description. President of FGC essentially went on to a uh, YouTuber's page and talked about what had happened because uh, previously, a few weeks before that, he had went on and said SGC will always stick to their turnaround times. Well, we know that's not the case. Stuff's starting to take longer. I really enjoyed it. He kind of talked about how SGC literally got 10 times the amount of business they were used to. They just were not prepared. But he talked step-by-step step on what they were doing, building out new facilities, hiring more people uh, to make sure they could meet demand. So I think that stuff's definitely going to improve there. BGS sent out a letter. You can see that here. Talking about basically they're charging insane rates for their two to five day because all of the other services are backed up. For example, I had a 10 day service that took nine weeks to come back. Finally got that back. That'll be our next video. See that there. BGS's response is kind of the worst one out of it all. It doesn't make sense that they just didn't prioritize any of the other service levels. Like I know they make more money in two day and five day. They should definitely have separate tracks for those. So basically you got shafted if you picked anything other than two day or five day. So I don't know why they wouldn't raise that price, but they had such a backlog. We're still waiting on our 30 day. The BGS return that I did get was for lack of a better term, brutal. Uh, and you'll see that in the next video. So I probably won't be using BGS again, which is funny because I've <laughs> the uh, video with the most views I have is how to submit to BGS. Lastly, PSA sent out a letter basically saying the typical PSA stuff. They know turnaround times are rough. They're hiring more people. They're building out more infrastructure. They're even investing money into automating the grading process, which I think would be huge. I think the first one to do that uh, will seek big benefits there. Uh, and the last thing I'll say is um, Gary V was caught uh, saying he was high on SGC. And I'm kind of wondering, because I'm high on SGC as well, if SGC gives me my cards back in an accurate time, I love the SG cases. If this starts to change, I definitely can see myself going strictly to SGC just for the price point, the turnaround times, and the case. If it doesn't, I'll probably stick with PSA. I'll do the bulk shipment. I'll wait six to eight months to get my cards back and just have to live with it. But that's kind of what we saw from a grading point of view. Let's see what comes back. I'm hoping the SGC stuff comes back nice. I'm really excited for all the PSA orders we have, so we'll see how that goes. I got a chance to go to the only card show in Louisiana, which we found out at that card show that there would be another in my hometown, so I was excited about that. Uh, but I wanted to share that with you guys. Me and Kai, uh, one of my friends and fellow sports card investor and collector, went with me, and we had a great time. So I'll definitely share that with you all. Check it out. Hey everyone, we were trying to film both of us, but we're on this bridge called the Causeway and it constantly bounces up and down, so I don't think that's going to work. But I'm here with my good friend Kai. Say hi, Kai. Hello. Check him out at Louis Sports Collectibles? Yep. Or Sports Cards? Louis Sports Cards Collection. Louis Sports Cards Collection on Instagram. I'll have that linked in the description. We're going to check out the only card show in Louisiana. Really excited about that. Yeah, but we're gonna kind of document what we pick up. I'm looking for Kawhi, Leonard, James Harden, uh, graded stuff hopefully, but I will pick up hollows and colors from any year. I brought a bunch of graded stuff I'm willing to trade or sell. We'll see if there's someone there willing to buy. What about you, Kai? I don't know. I'm just trying to enjoy the experience. Enjoy the experience. Perfect. But yeah, we'll check in with you guys later. All right, first card show. Uh, so this was my big deal of the day. So I sold my Zion Base 9.5 BGS and my John Morant's red, white, and blue and my John Morant Base. I bought those originally for $700 altogether. I sold them for $800 cash a mosaic cello pack, a Drew Lock hollow, uh, Panini Select hollow, a Michael Thomas silver prism, a Alvin Kamara blue numbered 
one thirteen out of one ninety nine. Do you see that? Oh damn, that's nice. Uh, Drew Brees prism, uh, silver prism, and a Marshawn Lattimore rookie red, white, and blue. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. That like, was awesome. So like seven hundred bucks. I have eight hundred dollars in my pocket, and then I have all these cards, and you know a mosaic silver pack. Which could easily go for another couple hundred dollars. Yeah, just selling it. I'm just selling that. What'd you get, guy? What's some of the stuff you got? Some of my bigs, I got this National Treasures DJ Chark Auto and Patch. Oh, that's dope. For 25 got this Eloy Jimenez Patch Rookie Two for $2. <laughs> A couple of these Juan Soto's Rookies for 7 apiece. Bowl Bowl Rookie Patch. Prism for a few dollars. Got a couple of these packs. I love opening packs. That's awesome. And um, I got, you know, just some more, just rookie Brandon Clark, Cameron Johnson, and a lot of Culver for a couple of bucks. A lot of good deals at this uh, card show. Yeah, I definitely think I'll be doing card shows a lot more because you find a lot better deals. Definitely. And like, Everyone's happy because they're you're you, you're making the deal right there. You're not paying sales tax. All this all this good stuff. Um, this is like the biggest lot I got. Um, it was the first what the first table we walked in. Yeah. Right. So um, I bought this Tremont Waters Auto for uh, ten bucks. I thought why not? The guy also had a Joe Burrow Color Blast insert. Uh, I love those inserts so much. And he wanted four seventy five for it, and I had eight hundred dollars in my pocket at this point, and I yeah. was like, "Oh man, I'm gonna get it," and I just couldn't, just couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. The money side of me couldn't. Would you, you offer him? I, I wanted it for four hundred, but he uh, said he bought it for four twenty five. Uh, and like, I get it, yeah, but it's just a beautiful. Thing. And the only reason he was letting it go was because I went to LSU, and uh, he already had one. Oh, <laughs> that like he he was just gonna keep anyway. Yeah, but this is the, I think I paid, I paid 70 bucks for this. And there's a lot of fire in here. So, uh, Joe Harris, rookie card, purple, 19 out of 99. Auto. Awesome. So I thought that was pretty cool. He offered it to me and I turned it down. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> I just think he's in a big market, right? He plays for the Nets, right? Yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah, big market. Uh, two um, Jackson Hayes pink mosaics. I think this is a... Uh, so I don't think this is the standard revolution, but I'm definitely gonna send this to get graded. It's a LeBron uh, 2018 revolution, 2019 revolution, excuse me. And I don't know, it just looks cool. I think it looked good. Maybe even an SGC slab, that looks tight. Tim Duncan, Blue Prism. I got a bunch of these Spectra Kyler Murray rookies. Thought those were cool. Tremont Waters, Green Prism. I I love this. Is that a Ozzy Smith? Oh, Ozzy Smith. That's I love a this card. Ozzy Smith Silver Select. One of my favorite players of all time. That's just a PC, huh? Yeah, that's PC for sure. I picked these up because they. Yeah, I basically got them for a dollar. Uh, some I got two uh, Darren Fox rated rookie Dunn Rosses. One's a little off center, but yeah. PC was LSU. I don't know how I'm gonna get this graded. I don't know if it's gonna sit well in the box, but it's numbered. It's eight out of ten. Tops Chrome rookie of Zat Met Mettenberger. I picked this up just because I thought it looked cool, but it's the tops grown green of uh, Russell Wilson. Here comes the prism. So I got two Eric Prescal rookies. The good thing about this is I could check to see if they were centered, and everything I bought was pretty well centered. I graded them myself. Carson Edwards, two of those. And then here comes the Jackson Hayes. I got two of those. I thought this was a really cool card, and I thought in a slab, a SGC slab or something like that, it would look really cool. Little Roger Starbeck, Topps Chrome. I have this card graded. They go about fifty bucks graded. This is like his first card in his Lakers uniform, like oh, wow. ever, ever. That's awesome. And then I bought some baseball, but I don't know what I'm doing. So, <laughs> uh, I bought a Bowman's Best rookie card of Ra mean, Raphael yeah. Devers. Yeah, he's two bucks. Consistent. Uh, I think this is a Gypsy Queen, Raphael Devers rookie card, two bucks. Uh, Walker Walker Bueller. Uh, I have one of his cards signed, so I was like, I'll add it to that. Uh, Jordan Crawford, because he's from Louisiana. A little auto. NBA hoops. I thought this was a steal. That is a steal. Like, he's hot right now, but uh, this is a Dante. How do you say? Divincio? Divincio? Uh, Divincenso. Divincio. I know. Everybody's uh, picking him up. 
That's a rookie auto. No one knows how to say any of the Bucks' last names. That's a, a, a <laughs> on-card rookie auto at 125 out of 125. I'm like, I mean, it's got a little bit of a bum corner. But, I mean, I'm like, Still, I can't beat that. Yeah. And then LSU PC, Danny Etling. Uh, probably one of my favorite grittier quarterbacks of all time. Uh, I love how he's got number 58. Yeah, this is on, uh, <laughs> on his shirt. He changed his position. It's awesome. Yeah, but that was it. It was a fun time, and I had a good time. And yeah, great time. I, I'm happy with what I did. I might regret selling the Zion base stuff, but I don't know. You win some, you lose some. So Definitely. that is what it is. Yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed. Clear eyes, full hearts, can't lose. Say bye, Kai. Later, guys. All right, guys. So hope you enjoyed the card show bit. Uh, I wanted to end this vlog with going over the football cards I've been looking at. And football's been acting a little bit different in this crazy, awesome sports card market we're having right now. It used to be that only quarterbacks were worth the investment. Maybe a running back that was doing really well was worth the investment too. But I'm starting to see a lot of other cards increase in price. Uh, and we'll kind of go through that. So I started off with my favorite quarterback in the league because uh, I'm a Saints fan. Uh, Drew Brees, um, there's this upper deck vintage rookie card of his. Uh, I've been picking them up for about 10 to 20 bucks. I think I have eight or 10. They're all at PSA. I know for a fact three will 10, uh, and that price keeps jumping up. Uh, I think it, I have 150 in the buy list, but uh, it's getting up to like 180, 190. Um, I definitely could see it getting close to 300. Solid card to pick up if you see a good, well centered one. Uh, and they're old, so. Make sure there's no fraying on the edges or anything, and they're they're in good shape. The next one, then, this is a surprise. Um, Michael Thomas Silver Prisms. Now, a little more expensive, around forty to fifty dollars is what I've been seeing. Um, when I researched this a few weeks ago, it was one hundred and sixty to two hundred price. These have shot up into like five hundred dollar range, and that's crazy for a non quarterback silver prism if you think about it. Definitely look at those. Uh, another one I'm looking at is Gardner Minshew. I did have some fears that Cam Newton was going to go to the Jaguars, but once he went to the Patriots, I think they kind of made a decision where Gardner looks like he's going to be the starter in the future in Jaguars. He's also a very likable personality. So you can pick up this premier level silver select for around 10 to $25. And there's not a lot of them graded. So low population, couldn't find one that really sold. I would advise picking these up. I think this is a great buy. I think this is something that will pop off once he has one or two good games uh, this upcoming season. And then the last one, I'm buying a lot of Joe Burrow stuff. Not just the silver. Uh, the silver from the draft picks, you can get 25 to 45 uh, You can get a lot of them from Chronicles. Uh, I have the red and the white optic. I have some of the selects as well. I just think his cards give me so much in demand, and there's such a big LSU fan base that they'll be easily collected. So if you have a PSA 10, you're going to have something that a lot, a lot of people do, right? So one of my good friends, Andrew, sent one of these off in the BG's order we just got back, so you'll see that coming up. And then the last one, and this is a weird one, Deshaun Watson. For some reason, he's just undervalued. Uh, I guess because DeAndre Hopkins left. I don't know. But he proved last season that he was a good quarterback and he could do it without DeAndre or with DeAndre. Um, so he's just a good buy. Like, you can pick up his Don Russ. Um, I almost picked up a lot the other day. It was like eight of them for 80 bucks, so about 10 bucks a card. Uh, and then his hollow, his optic hollow base and stuff like that is like 25 to 45 bucks. So good buys there. I just think he's going to be an easy sell when it comes to the season. Big fan base. A good way to triple your money, I feel, if you get a good PSA 10 or something along those lines. But guys, please check this out. I always have this link. I'm always updating this every two weeks. Um, I'm going to be adding a soccer section as well. But we have basketball and we have football and I will be adding soccer as well. But I hope this helps. I'm excited to bring this vlog to you every week, guys. Please continue the feedback. Love the comments. Um, and for the giveaway, in light of our Joe Burrow giveaway, uh, so once this video gets 100 likes, I will be giving away this Joe Burrow op red optic. Uh, it's not numbered, but it's a red optic out of the prism box. Uh, really sweet card, and I'll keep it in the black one touch. So please go ahead, like the video, comment if you got this far, um, enter the giveaway. You guys, clear eyes, full hearts, can't lose.
Talk to you next time.